In this video, we'll be taking a look at three NHL games happening on February 9, 2023, and providing you with free team picks and total picks for each one of those games. So two picks for each game, four picks in total. Welcome back to Cash Out Sports. Let's dive right into it. Oh, and don't forget to subscribe and to click the bell icon to get notified as soon as these videos get released so that you have more time to plan out your bets as we provide these videos on a daily basis. I can guarantee that you'll have all the important information that you'll need on these three NHL games after fully watching this video. One more thing before we start, if you would like to gain access to our best exclusive betting picks to take your sports betting journey to the next level, then check out our Patreon in the link down below where we offer our best bet single picks, best bet parlay picks, and much more. Now let's get started. Seattle Kraken vs. New Jersey Devils The Seattle Kraken face the New Jersey Devils in a matchup between two of the best teams in the NHL. The Kraken have a 29-16-5 record and are in second place in the Pacific Division while the Devils have a 33-13-4 record and with 8 wins in the last 10 games, they have the second best record in the Metropolitan Division. Both teams look to remain near the top of their divisions and the upcoming game looks to be a great one as a result. The Seattle Kraken are averaging 3.6 goals per game and are scoring on 20.3% of their power play opportunities. Jared McCann leads Seattle with 23 goals, Jordan Eberle has 28 assists, and Oliver Bjorkstrand has 129 shots on goal. Defensively, the Seattle Kraken are allowing 3 goals per game and are killing 72.3% of their opponent's power plays. Philip Grubauer has given up 45 goals on 436 shots faced, and Martin Jones has allowed 98 goals on 921 shots. The New Jersey Devils are averaging 3.5 goals per game and are scoring on 20.7% of their power play opportunities. Jack Hughes leads New Jersey with 35 goals, Duji Hamilton has 36 assists, and Nico Hishier has 155 shots on goal. Defensively, the New Jersey Devils are allowing 2.7 goals per game and are killing 80.5%. 9% of their opponent's power plays. Vitek Vainsek has allowed 71 goals on 841 shots faced, and Mackenzie Blackwood has allowed 39 goals on 367 shots. Seattle is 11-5 in their last 16 games overall and 7-2 in their last 9 road games, while the under is 9-1-1 in their last 11 games against the Metropolitan Division. New Jersey is 13-3 in their last 16 games against the Pacific Division games and 9-2 in their last 11 games overall, while the over is 13 to 3 in their last 16 games following a win. The Kraken and Devils met last month in a game that Seattle won 4 to 3. Thursday could bring a similar score, but this one looks a bit better for the Devils. The Kraken have 4 wins in their last 9 games including over the Devils in overtime. Their other 3 wins over that span were against the Blackhawks, Canucks, and Blue Jackets. Among the 5 games the Kraken did not win over their last 9, they were outscored a combined 20 to 6 by the Lightning, Oilers, Avalanche, Flames, and Islanders. Until they prove otherwise, Seattle is in an undesirable pattern right now where they beat up weaker teams but do not compete with stronger teams. Of course, the only exception during that stretch was a win beyond regulation against the Devils. Regardless, New Jersey has plain been the better team both recently and overall this season. They have won 9 of their last 11 games and 4 out of their last 5 at home. During those 11 games, the Devils have won high-scoring games, low-scoring games, over good teams, over bad teams, at home and on the road. They have been one of the best teams in the league all season and have to keep their foot on the gas to keep pace in the crazy competitive Eastern Conference. The Devils money line is not very good value, but they should be able to get the job done in regulation anyway. So the New Jersey Devils money line is our full game side pick. When these teams met about three weeks ago, there were seven total goals scored, meaning they will score against one another. These defenses as of late are giving up goals as Seattle is allowing 3.33 goals in their last three games while New Jersey is giving up four goals in their previous three games. Both teams are shooting the puck enough to apply pressure on the opposing goaltender as the Kraken are 23rd in the sport with 30 shot attempts per game while the Devils are fourth in all of hockey with 34.4 shot attempts per game. Both defenses are not doing well enough to get enough stops here. Over the projected total is our full game total pick.
Calgary Flames vs. Detroit Red Wings The Calgary Flames face the Detroit Red Wings with both teams hoping to improve on rocky seasons. The Flames have a 24-17-10 record and are in the middle of the Pacific Division while the Red Wings have a 21-20-8 record and with consecutive losses have fallen to the bottom of the Atlantic Division. Both teams are looking to improve in their divisions and make a push for the playoffs and the upcoming game should be a good one as a result. The Calgary Flames are averaging 3.1 goals per game and are scoring on 19.4% of their power play opportunities. Nazem Kadri leads Calgary with 19 goals, Elias Lindholm has 31 assists, and Tyler Toffoli has 156 shots on goal. Defensively, the Calgary Flames are allowing 3 goals per game and are killing 82.3% of their opponent's power plays. Jacob Markstrom has allowed 96 goals on 886 shots faced, and Dan Vladder has given up 51 goals on 532 shots. The Detroit Red Wings are averaging 3 goals per game and are scoring on 19.5% of their power play opportunities. Dylan Larkin leads Detroit with 15 goals, Philip Hronik has 26 assists, and David Perrin has 119 shots on goal. Defensively, the Detroit Red Wings are allowing 3.3 goals per game and are killing 76.8% of their opponent's power plays. Bill Husso has given up 102 goals on 1,018 shots faced, and Alex Nedeljkovic has allowed 35 goals on 292 shots. The Flames are 17-7 in their last 24 games playing on two days rest and 1-7 in their last eight Thursday games. The Red Wings are 23-48 in their last 71 won Thursday games and 24 to 51 in their last 75 versus Western Conference. The over is 4 to 1 in Flames last 5 overall. The Flames are 4 to 1 in the last 5 meetings in Detroit and 6 to 0 in the last 6 meetings. The favorite is 20 to 8 in the last 28 meetings. The Calgary Flames have been one of the Western Conference's best teams over the past few seasons, and while they've struggled against some teams, the Red Wings are not one of those as they've been utterly dominant in the head-to-head -head rivalry. In the past 5 games played between the two in Detroit, the Flames have come away with a 4-1 record, and the favorite has a 20-8 mark in their past 28 meetings, so while both squads have struggled for consistency, this is a rivalry the Flames have dominated, and there's no reason why it shouldn't continue on Thursday night, so the Calgary Flames' money line is our full game side pick. On paper, these teams have great goaltending, but as we've seen in recent weeks, they can't be counted upon night in, night out, and with so much goal-scoring talent, expect plenty of chances, as the over is 4-1-2 to one to two in the past seven meetings between the two teams in Detroit. For Calgary, the over is 4-1 to one in their past five games overall, and for the Red Wings, the over is 14-6 to six in their past 20 games when their opponent allows five or more in their previous game. So when two struggling defenses go to battle, keep it simple. Over the projected total is our full game total pick. That's all for now, so if you have any other games you would like reviewed, then leave a comment down below with the game you would like analyzed, subscribe to our channel, leave a like on this video, and we'll get to it as soon as we possibly can. We would also love to hear your opinion on the picks presented to you in this video, whether you agree or disagree with them, so leave a comment down below and do let us know.